All right. The next one is where most of nurses are actually failing the exam. It's the three in a single parameter. Nurses, please do not forget this. Yeah. If the patient scored three in a single parameter, the minimum um, frequency of monitoring should be every hourly. Okay. I'll give you an example. Let's say on the exam, all the vital signs are normal except respiration. The respiration is 35, okay? Definitely, if we translate it with the news, that will be 3. Is that concerning? 35 respiratory rate, the rest of the vital signs are normal. Yes. Would that be concerning? Definitely. That's mm -hmm. why, based on the news chart, 3 in a single parameter. But if you think about it, even if you don't score it yet, yeah? Try to think. Even if you don't know the scoring yet, it will it will alert you because 35 is really high. So the registered nurse will inform the medical team. So on the new start, automatic if the patient scored three and above, automatic escalation is yes. Yeah, we need to escalate if the news is one to four. Going back to the tail ball, the nurse will then decide whether to escalate or not. So going back to your question, it's up to you. So that means on the examination, there is no right or wrong answer regarding the escalation. Because again, it's up to you. Because you are the nurse who will decide, yeah? That is why it's rare that people are actually failing the escalation part of the news. For as long as you are giving reasonable justification with your assessor and saying, oh, I'm, the news score is one. I'm really concerned about this and that. I will probably escalate this with the medical team just, just to make sure. That is correct. The patient scored one. I think um, although the patient scored one, I, I, I'm, I'm fine with what, um, I mean, the clinical picture, the full clinical picture of the patient. So probably escalation is no longer, is not yet necessary. Again, it's up to you whether to escalate or not because it's based on the new scoring policy. Are we all clear? But then again, Three and above, automatic, yes, escalate. Yeah, I hope that that solves your, um, that answers your question about the escalation. So number five, minimum of one hourly. So urgent clinical response. Remember, I'm going back to what I said earlier. One of the new features of the news is the threshold five. That means if the patient scored five and above, you must act urgently urgent response threshold or you must act urgently as soon as possible so what are the things that you may need to be mentioning during your assessment station or in your in, or in clinical practice what will you be doing you need to immediately inform the medical team definitely remember to and above registered nurse to request urgent assessment by a clinician or team with core competencies in the care of acutely ill patients so some hospital we have what we call the outreach okay we have a specialized uh, specialized nurses who could um assess the patient um if they need i mean yeah they could further assess the patient so that is number five there's a team yeah some hospitals they call it outreach next is provide clinical care in an environment with monitoring facilities because of course if you think about it if you are working in a ward you have seven patients and then you need to monitor every hour. Of course, it might be difficult for you because, of course, you have six more patients waiting for you. So you need to have um, equipment to perform that. Yeah, that is your number five. And, of course, any other actions that you think are necessary for the scenario, especially on the examination. And last but not the least, so number seven will be continuous monitoring. Yeah, registered nurse, you. Um, to immediately inform the medical team caring for the patient. This should be at least a specialist registrar level. So registrar is the senior doctor. Next is emergency assessment by a team with critical care competencies, um, including practitioner with advanced airway management skills. And, of course, consider transfer to a level two or a level three clinical facility example your higher dependency unit or icu okay so higher depends dependency unit, they only have like one nurse is to three patients or one nurse is to 
they have lesser patients in there, so they could definitely monitor the patient continuously, and they have the equipment necessary to do the continuous monitoring. And of course, clinical care in an environment with monitoring facilities, so intensive care unit might be the place for the patient. Okay, so that is our news escalation. Any any question in terms of the escalation? So let's practice. I will show you how to complete the news chart. Okay. So what are the scenarios that you might see a news chart? Number one is your ectopic pregnancy. Definitely, you will see a news chart. Your end of life scenario, you will see a news chart. Depression scenario, you will see a news chart. Your heart failure scenario, you will see a news chart. Your homelessness scenario, you will see a news chart. Um, Alzheimer's, you will see a new start. So the only exception is your GCS, okay? That is the only scenario on the examination wherein you won't see a new start because you will be given the neurological observations chart, okay? Emmer, question! Do we have a new start for the community scenario? No, okay? So on your examination, we will not be using community. There is no such thing on your examination. We're going back to what I said earlier that the news. You, it's a standardized tool. That means you will be using it across the NHS, okay? So regardless where wherever you are, that means on the examination, regardless whether you're in the community setting or a hospital setting, you will be using the news. Are you all following? That means because there are a couple of nurses who said, Emmer, I failed the examination because I put zero, I put my escalation daily. Did we see any daily on the escalation? No. Was was daily mentioned on the escalation protocol? Not no. Yeah. Daily was never mentioned on the escalation protocol. So regardless, if you're in the community in the hospital, you will still follow the news guideline. We will now complete a news chart. Green pen. We're using green pen on the exam. So my patient's name is Emma Diego. So on the examination, nurses. The top section of the document has been completed. Okay, so that means on the day of the examination, when you, you when you are given the new start, you will see the patient's name already written. Okay, I know during your practice is always blank. Say my date of birth is today. Today is my birthday. There you go. Um, so my date of birth will be written here, and the date of admission. So always the question is, can we write today? Of course, you can write today or you can write the date of your examinations. You might see an actual date for the date of admission. Okay, again, please be mindful. So remember your overview, document for the overview. It might tell you the admission date, the actual date of admission. So make sure to, be, to read that properly and you have to copy that again. So the, the top section of the document completed on the examination, yeah? But of course, common sense, if it's blank on the day of the exam, please fill out the necessary information. I hope we are all following. So next, the date. So the date, where will you see this? The date will be written on the scenario. So typically on the, on the assessment paper it says, assume it is today and the time is 9 o'clock. So you will be writing the date today or written on whatever written on your on your scenario and the time okay so of course you can write let's say the date today is 406 so 406 question emmer i cannot fit it on the box will i fail no yeah so sorry my 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 writing is big so if you're using the the two boxes because of course your handwriting is very big that is okay yeah that is okay of course it's best if you manage to fit it in one box only yeah why not but this will be wrong if you will be writing 0406 this is wrong yeah do not use each boxes for each letter or each number yeah that is wrong okay so that is wrong because i don't know if you're aware each column represents a time and a date yeah each column represents a time and a date so that means that that, that what every column represents and the column represents the, the changes on the vital signs let's say let's say the first column the news was high next hour it will be low 
it will show some changes. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the reason why we have different columns. So it will show you a trend. Okay. All right. So time will be using the 24 hour time format or also known as your military time. So if it's two o'clock in the afternoon, that's 1400s. Yeah. If it's it's four o'clock in the afternoon, that's 1600s. Again, same with your date. Try to fit everything on the first box. But again, if you are using the second box because your handwriting is too big, that is fine. Yeah. But again, do not put the number every box because on each box is because that will result into a fail. So let's say four, six, and then the time is nine o'clock. Okay, there you go. Just forgive my writing. All right. Okay. So let, let me give an example. What if my respiration is 18? What will be your score? Zero. Well done. My question is, how do we document it? What did you learn from your training? Are we putting a dot or are we putting the number? Who said it should be dot and a number? On the examination, both are correct. So guys, my tip. If you want to stick with the dot, please stick with the dot. If you want to stick with the number, please stick with the number. So I say, if you're putting 18 here, a dot, that is correct. Yeah. So remember, white means zero. That's why I get, because you might be thinking, why, how did it become zero? If you're writing 18, that is also correct. The only thing is, what if you want to put both? Because you want to be extra. So there is a catch. What if? Let's say you put the dot on the white section and then you put the number on top. Yeah? To indicate this. What do you think would happen? There are two there there is a possibility of the assessor misinterpreting your scoring. Because remember, the z the dot falls under the zero category, and then the 18 falls under the orange category which means two so just be careful if you're putting number two if you want to be extra and put both probably put it on the side yeah and if it's just me doing the examination if you want to put dot dots only if you want to put numbers numbers only okay again you can put both but just be careful where you're placing your numbers and dots are we all happy with that next so SPO2 scale number one. What if the patient's um, saturation level is 93? What is our score? Two, well done. So remember, we discussed earlier, we are not using this. So memory, we will not be using scale number two because it will give you a different scoring. M or do we need to document here? No, just leave it blank. Oxygen, let's say the patient is in room air. What will be the score? Zero. There you go. Thank you. Well done. What if the patient is on reservo mask on five liters? How do we document that? So we will be writing. Are we writing here? No. We will be writing here. So it says here of O2 liter per minute. I did say five. We will be writing five. And then the device would be RM. Emmer, where did you get the code from? I mentioned earlier, go to your implementation paper. You will see a table containing the codes for the oxygen there. Okay, so you have your simple mask, your non-rebreather mask, your reservoir mask, your venturi masks, your CPAP, your ventilator. It's all there. So let's say air. So it will be here. Okay. Ever question. Dot or letter A? Which one is correct? Both are correct. Yeah, both are correct. So, Ember, because it says here on the side, air is equal to air. Because it's just telling us that the abbreviation of air is equals to air. Okay, it's simply telling us that A is equivalent to air. So, when you're documenting, you can write the dot on that section. Okay, dot. Or, again, if you want to put A, because some of you, you, you said A, why not? Okay, so both are correct. So again, I want to stick with the dot. I will just stick with the dot. Next, systolic blood pressure. Tell me what's the score? 110 over 80. What's, this, what's the blood pressure score? 110 over 80. So we'll be using double-headed arrows yeah, to indicate, again, systolic and the diastolic. 
So if it's 110 over 80, so 110 falls here, and then 80 versus 80, 80 falls here. So if you put, if you want to put a, a broken arrow, like me broken, please do so. If you want to put a straight line, that is also correct, yeah? For as long as the head of the arrow should be under a red box. Some students, they failed news because of this. They only put, surprisingly, a dot, okay? Again, although we're scoring systolic, we have to document both systolic and diastolic. Next, pulse. What if the pulse is 110? What will be the score? Right, there you go. So these are the instances wherein you might need to double check. It falls under the line. Am I correct? Yeah. So just be very careful with that. So remember here, it's 111. So that means this line and then up to this line, it's 111 to 120. That means the block or the square below that, it's 101 to 110. So that means 110 is here and it scores 1. Yeah. So next is alert or confusion. Let's say the patient is alert. What will be the score? The score is automatic. Zero. Consciousness, it's either zero or three only, okay? Consciousness is either zero or three only. So as a consciousness, C, confusion. V, it's verbal. P, it's, what's P? Pain, arousable, um, only with pain. U is unresponsive. So that is, of course, it's either A or this one only. But then again, please remember, it says here, score for new con concept of confusion, no score if chronic. Again, okay? no score if chronic. If the patient has known um, confusion and it's chronic, that temperature, we're nearly there. Let's say temperature is 37.1. The score would be zero. Well done. And what's our new total? Let's count. Four. Okay, so when you total the score, the first question that you should remember is, is there any three in a single parameter? Let's check. Okay, is there any three in a single parameter? No, okay. So my tip, nurses, when you do your news, after completing your, after calculating the score, question first is, is there a three in a single parameter. If there's none, we can just follow the normal monitor there. Oh. Well done. So four, what is four? Let me check, show my monitoring frequency. Four, four means? Four. four to six okay. hourly. Well six done, hourly. okay, four to six hourly. So again, it says here, inform the nurse. You are the nurse, yeah? You will decide if you're going to stick with four hours, five hours, six hours, or you were decide if it's three hours, two hours, one hour. Because of course, when, when I give the example, we don't have the full picture of the patient, okay? So if we just follow this one, if I am the nurse, I would monitor the patient every four hours. That's, that is correct. Okay? If you said every four or five hours, that is correct. If you said six hours, that is correct as well. Okay, registered nurse to decide. So you will decide whether to escalate this or not. Again, when we did the practice, we don't have any context. We don't have the scenario. So probably, if it's me, it's, it's it depends, yeah? It's either a yes or a no, and that will be correct on the exam. I hope you are following. So going back to our example, so monitoring frequency. Emma, do we need to write four to six here? No, okay? You can just select the number. If you want to write 4 to 6, that is correct, yeah? 4 to 6 hourly, that is correct. But if you want to just write 4 hour, that is correct. 5 hour, that is correct. 6 hours, that is correct. Are we all following, yeah? Yes. Let's, let's try to write 4 hour. Okay, that is correct, yeah? So again, try to fit it on the first um, box. But if you, if you cannot fit it, just use the some space on the next box, okay? So what if I write this? Will this be acceptable in the exam? Or this one? No. Please refrain from using these symbols because we don't use this here. If you want to write four hours, that is fine. Or 4H will be okay, or 4, 
HR will be okay as well. Yeah, so these are all correct, but not the Q. Yeah, are you all following? So both, all are correct. Yeah, all three are correct. All right, escalation, yes or no? Again, it depends. We don't have the context of the scenario. We don't have the full picture. So let's say if I said no, N to indicate no, and then Y to indicate yes. Initials, it's my initial. So again, not signature. It's asking for initial. So it will be ED. There you go. That is it. So that is how we will document your news chart. <music>